This is Patrick McDonald for HollywoodChicago.com at the red carpet Chicago premiere of Super Troopers 2. In 2002, the film Super Troopers was released, produced, and written by the Broken Lizard comedy troupe. It became a huge cult hit over the years, and now the sequel is ready for the public. We'll be talking to the members of the Broken Lizard comedy troupe, the stars of Super Troopers 2. Who came up with the premise of Super Troopers 2, and how did you build it? Um, we came up with it, um, we had read an article in the newspaper, about, it was after 9-11, and they had reassessed the border between Vermont and Canada. And they realized the markers were in the wrong place, so there was like a mile of Canada that should have been the U.S. And we thought that was a pretty funny idea. If it was a town, if it was a whole town, what would they do? Would they make the people Americans? So we used that as the nugget and we built it from there. Now since you know both sides of the coin from your roots in New Haven, who is accidentally more funny, a pol politician or a comedian? Accidentally more funny. Politician accidentally. Comedian intentionally. <laughs> right? Famously, you guys came up with different reasons for why your troop is called Broken Lizard. Yeah. What is the current one, or what is your favorite one? The current one is um, uh, A Night in Mexico Gone Wrong, A Broken Lizard. That's the latest one. And why, why is that funny to you? Um, I don't know, because I like, I like to think it happened, whatever it is, it happened to Jay. And, you know. Is directing easier for you now that you're a veteran? And what new director's trick did you use in, uh, in ST2? Well, you know, I've, I've directed seven movies and 110 episodes of television. So I understand how to shoot every scene now. I've shot every scene a million different ways. And so I used a lot of my sort of, we only need six shots for this scene knowledge. So when we were running out of time, I'm like, We'll get 10 seconds of that shot, eight seconds of that shot, a minute and a half of that shot, two minutes of this, eight seconds of that shot, and then there's the scene. Awesome. Was there any fear in bringing the uh, Super Troopers back, and how did you overcome it? The fear is that you make a bad movie, and you, then you ruin the first and the second one. You know, so, well, the way we overcame it is we wrote 37 drafts of it and put only the good jokes in. I also told the guys, I'm like, we're not rolling camera until we weigh exactly the same as the first film, so that when people see it, yeah, they'll, they'll say we look older, but not fatter and older. So. so finally, what's the funniest pronunciation of your last name you've ever heard? Chuck a cocksucker. Can you say that on your channel? Excellent. Yes, we can. Great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Hollywood, Chicago, how are you? Pat. How you doing? Steve. Paul. Steve. Nice how are you? you? Steve, so you've got a couple of big stars, Linda Carter and Rob Lowe, working with you. Between Wonder Woman and the Brat Pack, who would win a fight? It's a trick question because I don't know if you ever noticed this, but you never see Rob Lowe and Linda Carter in the same room together. I, I mean, honestly, like... It's like a Brady Bunch kind of scheme, like he just runs out and changes wigs and comes back. Put in, their yeah. photos side by side. Linda Carter is Rob Lowe in a wig. That's right. my final word that. On is that is where we're getting in Hollywood, right? That you could have like a DC Universe crossover with a John Hughes Universe. Like that's now where we've gotten to. That's, that's a movie you would go see. I'd like to see us do a crossover with Starship Troopers. Like, it, like the bugs come from Vermont. The gooey bugs. Yes, yeah, super ship awesome. troopers. Super ship troopers. You better pitch that. Paul, in your 18th year film career as actor and director, what was the weirdest place you'd ever filmed and why? The weirdest place I've ever filmed. I say, I really say, up the butt. <laughs> up the butt, Bob. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. I mean, we've been to some weird places. We, we, we shot a scene from Super Troopers right outside a prison in upstate Fishkill uh, facility, upstate New York. And that was a scene where he was in his bulletproof nut cup protector. So you had him out there exposed and all these inmates up on, a, on like a building looking down just screaming at him. And in an effort to protect him, like somebody from the like wardrobe department came over with like a little umbrella to like cover him up, and that just made it worse. So that that was one of the most enjoyable and weirdest places. Well, yeah, because the, the prisoners were we were right outside the wing of the worst of the worst, and all they knew was that there were a bunch of cameras aimed at a bunch of cops, and one of the cops would get out of a police car, 
with a, like a kimono and everything, and then just take it all off. And you would hear, every time I did that, you would hear a cheer go up from the prison Woo! yard. Take off that kimono! Yeah. And then they would yell stuff at me. So in both years' opinion, what is Broken Lizard's greatest sketch or movie, and why does it characterize what you do best? Um, you know what? People ask about the origin of the meow scene in Super Troopers, and I think that's a perfect distillation of what we do when we're together, the kind of sense of humor, the kind of absurdist thing that, like, that's... When we're out in a bar or a hotel room late at night, it's inevitably some kind of completely ridiculous thing like that that just makes us laugh. And, and that's that's really a great sort of example of sort of who we are, what our personality is, yeah. Yeah, I would say, you know, in the new movie, we've got something that's going to be uh, come to be known as the Danny DeVito scene. And that to me is something that, it, it wasn't in the script, it was something that like late at night hanging out, we all, we riffed on with the guys who play the Canadian Mounties, and then just at the last second, put it together and popped it in the movie, and it turns out to be one of the most popular scenes in the movie. And to me that is something that we've always, we enjoy the process of, of telling stories, and we keep, try to keep it loose and fun on set, and and open-minded and and you know I think I think we should do that every single night Just write it on the fly as we go because those seem to be the best scenes that we do you guys are awesome thank you so much hello I'm Patrick how are you how are you nice talking to you all right since this is your second time portraying rabbit what piece of backstory did you add to the character oh this one huh well I had a little more experience right even though I would say uh I had a gullibility, gullibility. Is that a word? <laughs> I'm, much, I'm a little gullible in this film, as you'll see what happens with my uh, romance. I shouldn't tell you anything. That might give it away. If you haven't seen it, you want to know anything. Spoiler alert. Oh, okay. man. So what is the oddest thing anyone has ever said to you in regard to Super Troopers? I mean, you must get a lot of odd comments. Well, I'd say in the first film, I, uh, I made a little magic with a bear, right? And so people always make a reference to that. But my mother likes to call that making out with the bear. <laughs> so what was the first sketch? That that first troop, char, uh, charred goose, yeah. yeah, from uh, Colgate U, did that you all thought this is what we're going to do. That sketch that really put it over the top. The very first sketch, uh, we one that I sort of sticks out in my mind was one called Not Pot, where it was uh, a takeoff on near beer, where when you really wanted that taste and flavor of pot, but you had to study and had to focus to do your papers, you smoke Not Pot. It looks like pot, tastes like pot, smells like pot, but it's not. How appropriate for you guys. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Good talking. Break a leg. Un, deux, trois, let's do it.